My name is Jeff Nelson, and I'm a musician. I play French horn and I teach. And so if I'm performing and there is an audience there, then you say process or product? Mm -hmm. Yeah, product for sure. That's the only thing that an audience I think can appreciate in my mind, and it's it's way better than process. You don't go to an art gallery to you don't walk out of an art gallery going, "Wow, that brush technique was really great," you know. And all I mean, you, you would if you're an expert, and, but that's a super small part of the population. You know, that's definitely a big part of Canadian brass. Is we play for non musicians, you know, eight, we played for whatever fifteen hundred people last night. Mostly non musicians or former brass players or amateur brass players or musicians, but it, it's the wash of the product of the tension and release in the music and the story and all of that. Yeah, I say, you know, process, product, and purpose. That that process, it's the lamest of the three. It made the list. And then I, I got this email from my mom with a bunch of different funny sayings, and one was, the last thing I want to do is hurt you. But it's still on my list. <laughs> so the process is the lamest of the three, but it made the list because it, it doesn't happen without it. But it's, I want my students to be bored with it, to just get above the line, enough, not enough, enough. But a lot of people do two hour routines and they're working on stuff, or they, they miss a note and then they go back in the room for an hour and work on their tonguing. Meanwhile, it wasn't that, it was that they saw someone in the audience that they really wanted to impress or got or decided to fear, uh, got out of the present and missed the note because of mental stuff, you know, instead of the process. Yeah. Whether it's useful and understandable or unique and new, again, I think it depends on the definition of success and what we're after, what we're looking for.